are Filipino farmers' hard work and dedication in every grain. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. Internet now is not going essential. Eh? It's a digital rights already. People have right, need to have right information, right of education, and right of this technology access. Imagine with this pandemic, without this stable internet, how you can make your kids to go to school, you know? Especially at this uh, period of uh, Gen Z and Gen X. And Filipinos, I tell you, we are the median age, the youngest in Asia. They are the economic growth of the future, and they are really, uh, this is our future of uh, leaders. And in terms of social media network and uh, internet users in the Philippines, we have more than 70 plus million. And our population 110, right? So imagine that uh, if you don't have this digital infrastructure, how we can satisfy our young generation and our digital transformation on, on, on our country also. My name is uh, Dennis Anthony Uy. I'm uh, co-founder and CEO of Converge ICT Solution Inc. Welcome to my office. I was born in China, no? so that's why I try. Sure, I'm a Chinese by blood, but Chinese uh, by heart. I grew up here. I went to grade school up to my college in Pampanga, in Angeles. And uh, I was already grew up with the society and the culture of Pampanga. If I go to deep the technology, and in terms of my passion and hobby, you know, uh, I understand what I'm doing, no? Because this is totally unique to them, no? During uh, high school days, uh, during daytime I go to high school days, but during night time I go to uh, vocational course, no? Like uh, electronics, refrigeration, even computer programming, all these things, no? They came up with the video regulatory board now. They rating all this piracy because you're replicating all these tapes. Then I said it's about time because I make already uh, huge replication already. I decided to end this business early in '90. It's about time I need to sell this equipment, more than 400 machines and thousands of items, 45,000 tapes. Sell out to northern uh, provinces, and I decided towards to the cable industry. Cable already in my area, and that's happened to me in the middle of uh, construction of my uh, cable network, Pinatubo erupted. No? And Pinatubo uh, forcing American left. And imagine employment is totally uh, lost. No? So all the businesses is affected. A lot of friends in Metro Manila offer us to move, move here. But I said, you need to build another new relationship. So we decided not moving out and I want to put something different. I make sure I want to put them some entertainment, which is the cable TV, you know, and put on the news to able to update all this community, you know. So we pushed through the project. In fact, some people, my friend, they asked me, you have not crazy because imagine they are, they are moving out and I'm still pulling my investment inside, you no. Know? So that's why we built the, infra the infrastructure in Angeles City. Even we uh, connected Angeles to Bonibaco. We, we need to put bamboo pole to transfer all my cable to pass to the river, to reaching the area. So finally, I proven uh, I not leave Angeles is, is the right decision. During Vietnam War days,
Sabi ko sa iyo, lahat ng merkano nandiyan, inaabot na ng pera yan, sinasupply ng buong cart. And doon siya lumaki. And uh, wala pang masyadong supermart that days. Siya ang pinakamalaking supermart na sa Angeles. Saka tumutulong talaga. Kaya mahal siya ng mga tao doon. He just passed away this uh, few, few years and 98 years old. No? So, COVID time, wala na kapunta. So, binisitahan ko, naka, ano ako, kinausap ko. Sabi ko, you're happy, you, your family is fine. Pag alis ko, walang 20 minutes. Nasa highway, tumawag na sa akin, tapos na. So, talaga may sign na ako hinintay before he left. Yeah. Actually, siya ang napag-aaral sa amin, no, the whole family. Kaya, and nakikita ko yung leadership niya. Kaya, mostly, yung inspiration ko sa buhay na sa kanya ko nakuha halos. I'm the only Filipino ah, attending this Society Cable Engineer Show every year no, in the U.S. to able to get this technology how we can uh, adapt for the Filipino market. No? So when the fiber switching already started uh, small in U.S., they create or call FTTH Council no, in U.S. So I'm the one of the founding member to create a FTTH Council in Asia. I'm uh, happy to tell I bring the council meeting first time in the history in the Philippines and is well attended more than 600 delegates worldwide. No? This organization is quite important because this is a technology companies and they provide you the best practices in their country. You will know this technology can be adaptable to your country or not. The digital highway is very important to individual homes. When I'm uh, envisioned to put a converge in uh, early uh, 2000s, purpose is to make uh, our uh, digital connect to individual uh, Filipino underserved and unserved areas. Especially also in the provinces, no? uh, we totally we are really lagged behind compared to the Asian peers. That's the reason we uh, I promised myself to make these things happen. Yeah. Whether like it or not, uh, we've been Filipinos consumer been deprived the longest time. I think in terms of the internet and even as of today, those who have the right technology, not even 20% of the household is connected with fiber. 2016. Ang subscriber base ko nang doon, wala pa kay 100,000. No? So, today, we have close to 1.5 million already connected. Even the whole industry, not even 4 million connected at your 20 million home. That means, Philippines is lack of infrastructure. If you have more players in this field, to be able to uplift the needs of our Filipino users. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Cardinal Santos Medical Center. PG Flex Linoleum and Maruyama Tarpaulin. Evergreen Cereal. AgriPro, Premier Nutrition Incorporated. Global Diesel and GU Engineering. Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation. Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner. Japan Parts Bearing Corporation now open in Caloocan. Pinturado Selyado Protectado Sigurado AquaGuard Elastomeric Waterproofing Paint. NTN Aesthetic Supplies Incorporated. Wonderful Trading. Unity, your testing specialist. Bavin, the fast charging expert. Federation of Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Philippine Xinjiang General Association Incorporated. Grand Family Association of the Philippines Incorporated. Federation of Filipino Chinese Alumni Association Incorporated. Alejandro Ko. Jimmy C. Nang Family. Enrique Chua. Li Pue Chin. Chua Bang Tang, Hong Wen Bing, Albert Ko, Stephen Sia, Rosalina Yasai, Thomas Kua, Conchita Go.
Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. You know, I, I've been in this industry for past 30 plus years. No? So if you imagine, just imagine you start a Betamax tape and now you're watching your content now is in the cloud. So that means the past how many decades, and in the future, when you have built this digital uh, highway individual homes, the consumer, you can have any on top of digital highway services, e-commerce, shopping, e-education, e-health. Without this digital highway, you cannot serve that. The Philippine market is totally unique. You can notice we have a biggest chassis market. Chassis, that means it's the DNE market is the biggest uh, population and that's uh, people uh, cannot afford or to have this monthly subscription. Usually, majority, even the mobile today, 90% are doing prepaid. Right? The reason why this prepaid, when I have available money, that's the time I have consumer power. My dream just simple because I know it's a lot of unserved and underserved, especially Philippines, is geographical uh, challenges. No? We have 7,000 islands. We link the major islands like besides Mindanao just finished last month. But deeper to the small uh, islands and mountain loose area, not reachable by the infrastructure like fiber optic because it's not viable to bring this infrastructure in. It's too costly to not able to recover the investment. We can find different technologies to serve these people, which is satellite. I'm also thinking, uh, regardless of your economic status in life, my company is look, looking some solution to serve everyone. Stable, high-speed internet, accessible to every status of society, of life of the Filipinos. No? Yun ang gusto, yun ang pangarap ko mangyari. Before the pandemic happened, we are in the middle of expansion of this fiber, rollout on the timetable, manual basis. But when pandemic strike, could surprise us. Eh. The longest time, people not stay home. Eh. But when you lock down in the home, people have office at home, entertainment at home, education at home. You need the 600 gig capacity per hour. There is of five people. Without fiber, you can have that connection. Mobile can give, cannot give you that. Thousand people, and as of today, I'm happy to tell, at uh, almost 90%, we deliver almost the same day or two days, with, within 24 hours. You need to do quickly as a uh, turnaround, or else we cannot serve this consumer public and they will make clamor, you know, and we make noise, especially nowadays, social media network. <laughs> Everything they've complained, you can see, right? So. My wife is, uh, is being a uh, big role to this organization because she is accountant and she been in corporate work when I met her. I'm a uh, visionary and technology guy and we grow together. This is a perfect combination. We met through computer days no? in Green Hills. Uh, one of my uh, abai during the wedding kasi siyang napakinala sa asawa ko eh. And turn out, yung girlfriend niya, uh, classmate ng wife ko. And I'm already 30 already eh. my, my wife also 29. No? So we decided and we mature enough to decided to get a uh, final settle. You know, I'm in the business of this already. She's really in uh, in the deep understanding accounting, corporate practices. Siyempre kasama sa condition niya dapat mag-design siya. <laughs> I'm not feel that top six in the form. That's the Sony market cap, no? I not feel I'm, I'm, I'm that because that is only a, a, a market valuation. No? I hope I can have that uh, money so I don't have this debt in the bank. <laughs> well, the, the next level is uh, you need to have a digital storage. It's computing 
data center is a future business. Hyperscaler is a regional play business. The digital highway is crucial to the hyperscalers. The power cost is another crucial to the investors. The government intervention is very important. I'm looking at to make this country happen because Filipinos grew up with talent that they know the technology. Why they not stay here? Because we, need, we don't have enough ecosystem and they don't have opportunity to work here. That's a big difference. So we need to build something to bring our people, stay in our country, develop and make them opportunity to grow here. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy is brought to you by Cardinal Santos Medical Center. Evergreen Cereal. AgriPro, Premier Nutrition Incorporated. Global Diesel and GU Engineering. Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation. Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner. Pinturado Seliado Protectado Sigurado, AquaGuard Elastomeric Waterproofing Paint. Federation of Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Philippine Xinjiang General Association Incorporated. Philippine Long Tong Hai Fraternity Incorporated and Philippine Long Tong Hai Chamber of Commerce Incorporated, President Raymond Uy. Philippine Tintiang Longhu Association and Philippine Tintiang Longhu Chamber of Commerce Incorporated. Philippine Chinese Commerce and Industry Overseas Association Incorporated. Philippine Xinlian Association. Overseas Chinese Alumni Association of the Philippines. Alejandro Ko. Jimmy C. Nung Family. Chua Beng Tang. Hong Wen Bing, Albert Ko, Stephen Sia, Rosalina Yasai, Jaime Lim, Victor Chua, Sherwin Choi. Undying support of the Chinese Filipino community in the country continuously contributes to the economic and social cultural development of the Philippines. One of the respected and regarded leaders in the Chinese Filipino community is the late Mr. Tan Shi Ling. Tan Shi Ling was born in Anhai, Fujian Province on May 5, 1927. At the age of seven, he lost his mother during the cholera epidemic. While his father remarried, his elder brothers provided him with love and encouragement. Oh, my dad is the uh, uh, patriarch of the clan. So he would take care of all the members of the family, of the clan, making sure that everybody's well. It's very natural for him to be a civic leader because he's very much involved with the Filipino-Chinese community. He's also a member of the Filipino-Chinese Chamber of Commerce. And later on, he presided in uh, the Filipino-Chinese Athletic Federation. And later on, he also headed uh, the local chapter in the Volunteer Fire Brigade. And he also presided in the, in the Philippine Wushu Federation. The late uh, Mr. Tan Shi Ling in 2009 was elected as president of Wushu Federation Philippines. During that time, it's uh, very critical for us. They withhold all our financial assistance. Ang sabi ni Mr. Tan, kaya natin yan. Everybody loves him. Eh. Bilip ako sa kanya. Yung Wushu Federation namin, yung gym namin is nasa PCSM building, nasa fifth floor. It's an old building. So, mataas ang ceiling nun, no? so in, mga sa tingin ko siguro, pagbilang mo talaga siguro mga 7. Dinalakat niya. Walang elevator, ha? Eh, halos every week, dumadaan siya nung sana, tinitignan yung mga training lang, uh, mga data, karon. He really cared for the athletes. 
During the time he was the president of the uh, Gaison City Association of Filipino Chinese Businessmen in. He's already active and responsible to his position. He saw us his good leadership. Uh, uh, in fact, during his time, many projects have been carried out, uh, like free medical mission, uh, release goods for those. I think it's more than 15 units of uh, Baliu School classroom. I know Mr. Dan Lin uh, since uh, late 1980s. Uh, it's more than 30 years already. We share our happiness from our achievement of a service to the society. While having a heart for humanitarian service, goodwill, and social action, he remained focused on his business endeavors. He first started as a salesman in his earliest years till he saved enough money to open his own business. So he opened a, a printing shop with the help of my mom. The company uh, grew and prospered and before long they opened another company which is in the uh, envelopes and then another one for computer forms and also in the paper mills which I'm connected in. And now they also went into real estate and now we also got the license to uh, manufacture license plates and uh, motorcycle plates in the Philippines. In this year's Philippine Business Conference, Tan Shi Ling will be awarded with the International Chamber of Commerce Philippines 2021 Global Excellence Posthumous Award. Actually, my father has been uh, doing all of this uh, for a long time with uh, expecting nothing in return. Now that he passed away, and now we were being recognized and is in, uh, being given an award posthumously. Uh, I think it's very touching and it is really unexpected for us. Mr. Tan Shi Ling was not a man of many words, yet every word he said was thoughtful and caring. He made the lives of the people around him easy and secure. He was always calm in the face of adversities. Indeed, he was a man of action. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. I'd like to think that politics is something you can't avoid because politics is personal. And politics is something that affects all of us. The fact that the, the early Chinese were put in the Parian and were discriminated by the Spaniards, that's politics. So the fact that you have historical figures like Jose Ignacio Pawa or Pua, who uh, was a Ch uh, Chinese Filipino general who fought against the Spaniards, that's political. So even today, like growing up, ang dami kong naririnig or nakikita na pangalan na Chinoy na pumapasok sa mga elections, diba? they exist. But there's also the point of view from, uh, from the Chinois, lalo na the older generation na wag ka nalang makisawsaw. Wag ka nalang pumasok dyan. Wag ka nalang makialam. Because before, you know, you don't want to get involved in government. Because you don't want, number one, to call attention to yourself. You know, to, to, to your family. So, of course, if you run in an election, boy, that campaign will really kill you, see? Now, you have Chinois not just in elective positions, but in appointive positions. I mean, you know, it's great. The Chinois... They have these resources, they have the education, they have the experience, and it's great that they will use that to contribute to national development. When it comes to Chinois in politics, my view is I don't care if they're Chinois or not. I want to know what their stances and positions are on issues that matter to me. And I want to know if they're going to help improve the quality of life for my country, for my community. If you ask me in Chinoy politics now, there's a lot of Chinoy really want to serve the country. If you ask me, being the businessman, I just have a sense of advice. Don't mix up the business with the politics.
you know the the modern Chinoy now the adaption of the culture is very important this is the same with the culture anywhere on the Gen Z Gen X now totally different even my daughter now hindi mo nga pwedeng mapagalitan ngayon eh <laughs> during our time pag pinagalit ka ng parents mo you just keep quiet right but totally different they are entitled the Gen Z and Gen X but they are fast they are smart they are talented because they grew up with the digital age that's why you cannot blame them the important values to these young people they should understand where they came from that's very important second is the integrity to the individuals i always remind my uh, daughters if you destroy your image and destroy your character you cannot come back anymore the tech industry is really big in the future no you just only need to have a deeper understanding and hardship passion and focus is very important Chinese community in Angeles is very small i grew up from grade school high school in the community of Filipinos that's why i feel already i'm filipino i going to invest here i earn money here and i'm going to stay here i'm going to die here so this is my country Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag One Chinoy was brought to you by Doña Maria Premium Quality Rice, our Filipino farmers' hard work and dedication in every grain. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. Chinoy TV would like to thank. I worked in McDonald's for one week, learning clean the floor, clean the toilet. They teach me what to do in the front counter. We really grew. We opened so many stores. We want to do things relevant to the Filipinos. I was persistent and determined, and we succeeded. I'm George Young. I'm known as the founder of McDonald's in the Philippines.